Here I have a good pair of D-shaped card tables. These were originally designed by Thomas Sheraton in the 18th century. Around, they were designed around 1785, 1790. And different cabinet makers of that period took Thomas Sheraton's design and here we have a, a good pair. So the design is as such, it's a D-shape. And the D-shape is finely cross-banded in satin wood. It has a narrow frieze. And when you're looking at buying card tables, this is one of the things we want to see, the frieze nice and narrow. Because when the frieze gets deeper, the whole table's proportion, they look too provincial. But these are very sophisticated and quite restrained. They stand on square tapering legs, and the square tapering legs are edged, edged in boxwood with boxwood stringing. And along the frieze here, you've got the satin wood. Then on the, the bottom part of the legs, the little term is known as spade feet. And again, we've got the veneer on the spade feet. So the legs themselves are solid, but the frieze round here and the tops are veneered. One of the features which you must look for when you're buying um, 18th century card tables, the better tables you will find, they will have what's known as a double gate. And that means when you turn the table round, like so, you have one gate like, like that. And that. So the whole table is then supported by these two legs, which come out like so. So aesthetically, the table is much more balanced. And so when your friends are playing cards, they can each have a, a compartment to actually sit in while they're playing cards. In the interior, we have green bays, and then finely cross-banded with satinwood throughout. So, uh, look at that colour. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the term is, we call this fiddleback mahogany. The reason why, um, if you look at the back of a violin, and, uh, or a fiddle, you've got this wonderful um, pattern. This, uh, the wood has a great contortion about it. Um, violins are normally made of sycamore, but, as I say, but it has this contortion, so when it's, you see it on mahogany, we call it fiddleback. Later on, people have now called this diseased mahogany because you've got these contortions in it and it's, it's all always individual. It's never, no two pieces are the same. So we close it up. Now, when we face them round, apart from their general use as for playing cards or playing bridge or gaming tables, um, they work equally as well if they're just placed in a smart drawing room, in an alcove, or in a hallway, you know, with lamps on or photo frames, they're a useful piece of 18th century English furniture. As I say, these were made um, in around 1785-1790, that's the date I would put on these. Um, the condition is so important. Don't buy tables when they're lifting or they're smiling. They have to be flat. The condition is everything. So look at these, they're lovely and flat. They, they sit very well and they're, they're a very good pair of tables.